Okay. Are you doing sorting or insertion? I'm going to do selection okay. sort pseudocode. So the reason I'm going to do uh, selection is just that it's a little easier conceptually to write this pseudocode for, basically. So pseudocode for a selection sort, right? So I'm going to have an array, right? Presumably of numbers. It should be noted that Java can sort arrays of other things, but it sorts them by Unicode alphabetizing them, which is a little weird. Like it treats everything that you give it as a string and then it alphabetizes the strings using their Unicode char characters, which means that the number nine and, and the number 83 and the a smiley face and the string I love cats can be sorted together in some kind of sensical order. Okay, so the Java like sort command is a little funny. All right, anyway, pseudocode selection, uh, selection sorting for a method. Ugh. Selection <laughs> sorting. How do I, how do I selection sort again? Check the thing against all the other things. Yeah, I have an array, right? So I'm going to go through the array and find the smallest thing in the array, right? So like that's going to be kind of algorithm-wise. And store its location. Yeah, so step one is going to be like, go through unsorted stuff, find smallest thing, note spot. Right, so you're like gonna note where the smallest thing is hanging out. Right? And then what are you gonna do with that thing? Exchange smallest thing for spot one. Yeah, you're gonna swap the smallest thing to the front, right? And keep in mind, that's not the front of the whole array, that's the front of the unsorted stuff. So, right? So, I, essentially, I position, depending on how many times you run through the loop. Yeah. So, we're going to need to loop through the array kind of twice here. So, one loop through is going to be just like, what have I sorted so far, basically? And the other loop through is going to be go through the rest of the stuff, find the smallest thing that's in there, and then put it on the end. Would it be easier to put the sorted stuff into a new array? You could try that. It, it turns out it doesn't really matter much. Uh, the number of comparisons are basically the same. The number of swappings is basically the same. Um, it does take up twice as much space in the memory to do that, which is why it's not traditionally done that way. It's not a terrible idea, though. What's up, Gib? But then wouldn't it take up less um, uh, time? Because you wouldn't have to be moving the rest of the array down every time? Yeah, so you'll pay for the, you'll pay for some of your swapping in memory, and sometimes that might be a good idea. Uh, the the traditional way of doing this is all in the array. So the traditional approach to sorting, you get one and only one free spot. So you get like one spot to temporarily store a card. In other words, you can have one card in your hand at a time, basically. And yeah, in modern computers, this is probably not such a huge deal, right? Like you could, of course, just double the memory consumption in the modern computer, that might not be a bad thing. I'm going to show you the traditional way because that's what I've learned. Um, we can try the other thing later too and see if it's any faster. All right, so let's see. I think I'm going to need like a loop through the array on the outside, right? So I'm going to loop through array and 
I'm going to do that with a variable called step. That's going to be kind of how many things have I sorted so far, right? And then inside this loop, right, I'm going to need to loop through the rest of this stuff. You guys see that? So there's going to be a loop through, well, I really want the unsorted stuff. You guys kind of with that? So is that step minus one there starting at step minus one? Yeah, so that's basically, here's the sorted stuff, right? That's from zero up to step, right? And then from here onwards, we're looking at unsorted stuff. Does that kind of make sense? And then someplace down here, right, is the end of the array. So that'd be like array dot length. So it's not actually step by step. Yeah. Okay. So, and yeah, there's some like counter considerations that I'm really kind of glossing hard because I just want to get the like broad strokes and then we'll force it later. Uh, so, let's see. So I'm going to need a second variable to loop through the unsorted stuff, right? So I already have step that's looping through the kind of that's telling me how much of this did I sort. And then there's going to be, a, I need a counter to go through the unsorted stuff, right? What's that counter? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just call it something. So I'm going to call it J. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. So which thing is so far probably the smallest in my unsorted stuff? Okay, so I'm asking if I'm doing, where'd my cards go? Okay, so I have my cards, right? And my first loop through the array is just going to be, how much have I sorted so far? So, so far I've sorted none things, right? And so now I should go through all the unsorted stuff, right? And what thus far is my smallest card? First one. Nine. That first one that's on the top of your unsorted stuff stack, right? You guys see that? So right now I'm keeping track of the nine. And then I'm thinking, okay, what's next? Seven. Seven is smaller than nine. So now, instead of keeping track of where 9 is, I should be keeping track of where 7 is, because that's thus far my smallest card. So you need a memory that very well. Yeah, so I need something like, where's the smallest card at? Right? 10 small. So I'm going to put that thing right here. And I'm going to call that thing small spot. Right, because that's where the smallest card is sitting. And when I loop through, starting with the zeroth element, where is my assumption that the smallest thing ought to be? Yeah, should be at the beginning of the unsorted stuff, right? So I'm going to assume that my small spot is at that step. You see that? And then I'm going to loop through the unsorted stuff with a variable j, right? So, so far, my smallest stuff is at spot 0, so I haven't sorted anything. And then I'm going to go through the rest using a variable j. So, you want to do if. Oh, why an if? Uh, because you have to compare the, uh, 
number in index slot 0 to the number in index slot 1, index slot 1 to index slot 2, 2, 3, 3, You guys four. see that? So I'm thinking about the smallest one I have, right? I want to compare that to the next one in the list and decide whether I should forget where 9 is and pick up where 7 is. You guys see that? So my way of doing that is going to be if the array thing at small spot is smaller than less than j. j. Array yeah, j. If, if the small spot one is greater than j. Yeah, I only care if small spot becomes right. I only care if the small thing I've, I'm looking at, right, my smallest so far. I only care if it's bigger than the next one. Right. You guys all see that? So I'm going to do if the array thing at small spot is bigger than the array thing at j. j. Right. And small spot equals j. Then we're going to keep track of, oops, small spot okay. is going to be now j, right? That's me saying, OK, I went through, right? And 9 is bigger than 7, so now I don't care where 9 is. I only care where 7 is, right? And then I'm thinking, OK, my next card Right? I need to compare to that same smallest spot, right? So, so far, I found that 7 was the smallest thing. Then I'm going to go look at 4. Is 4 smaller than 7? Yep. So now I'm going to forget where 7 is and I'm going to think about where 4 is. You guys see that? Then I'm going to compare that to my next one, and kind of so on, right, until I get to the bottom of the deck. You guys see that? So at the end here, right, once this loop through the unsorted stuff ends, right, so I'm going to, I'm going to end my if statement. I'm going to end my loop with j's in it. And then what am I going to do at the end? What have I discovered at the end? Uh, smallest card is? Yeah, I know what the smallest card is. Where is, well, I don't know what it is, but I know where it is at least. Where is it? So then you want to swap <laughs> the small position. spot. Yeah, it's in the small spot in the array. So now I want to swap it for the thing at the deck, right? You guys see that? Yeah, kind of. So I'm just going to write here. Oops, crap. I needed that end loop. So I needed the end loop J. And then I want a, the array thing at small spot to switch with the array thing at step. With me on that? Yeah. Okay. So now I would like to make a similar, I'd like to use processing to make a similar thing to the video of sorting methods. Cool. So that's going to take a second to get working, but I think we can do it.